away, baiting out any utility that might be in play or re-aggression. And there's the aggression they were waiting for right into the trap. Ballista have fallen, but another player close was not expected. Kareem sideswipes them, drops the spike, and the plan falls apart now for Fnatic. They have to try and recover it, pushing in through Garage. The first combat goes their way, but that only equalizes the numbers. The ace up the sleeve, though, is Phoenix on his way up behind. They might think that both players are on long, and this is where Phoenix can get it done, but Doma dropped straight away, and Kareem on for the third, closing the round and putting the pitch for this team before. Paranoia not going to blind the second player, but he isolates the first fight and bails out. Perfectly played. Now a teammate here to continue fighting for control. They're not happy to concede it, knowing that this is likely a C split. They've torn them completely asunder, and Fnatic left in a one versus four. This is going to be a tough one for Cypher. He has crept out onto the A site play, and one that's worked out for a kill, a site, and pretty much a round win at this point. Ballista, they've invested into this one. They're at least grabbing the double, though. Hold on, Spike dropped. Morphin wants to hold on to this for dear life. He'll smoke it off, dodges the shock dart, peeks out, sees one leg spotted, and another kill under his belt. The teleport, shadow step across. He's going to TP out of there for extra safety and security, taking an alternate angle to his teammate. Who has ult online? This is huge. We take a look at Phoenix ulting right into the site. Here comes the flash through the cage. Doesn't blind anyone, but a kill for his trouble. And the flanker on the way has the info. There's no one else on site, but he's stepping. He's running. He doesn't expect Jack to be there. They thought he was flanking into spawn from window, but no, he's instead holding for a position where the spike isn't planted for him. The wall goes up and Jack moves forward. Halfway stuck already. Time is an enemy at this point and the spring misses he wasn't ready for such a bold peek from batty straight through his own wall fail was a push with the knife out right but in, in general all the teams are just playing so well Oh, Fnatic, oh, no, exactly. they've gone for a bit of a force here, having themselves a Vandal, some weaker weapons, but managing one for two trades at the very start, this is about as good as it could go. Overwhelmed the site, Flash keeps Jet back from even dashing onto site. The Cloudburst could have allowed her to do so, and instead they're going to have to delay this a little longer. QXV wanted to get a bit too aggressive, right into Mystic he went, they've spotted the info, but look, oh, hold on, right back into it again, Kareem and Batty, these guys are on fire, they're pulling back rounds that they should have no chance in long control lost this is a real anxiety attack for cypher on site he's got to check two different angles and he can't get it done they know where mystic was playing they go through but he's on the side batty luckily deals with him in time and another defuse and another is catching him with the paranoia and then just falling back but it means they have to play retake on this site now as the spike is planted immediately qxv sideswipes that initial fight bold on the site with a double and this is looking ridiculous hunter's fury is online but mo can't pop what hello QXV thought he was safe. Mo can't delay long enough with the Hunter's Fury, so he wants to try to force fights and use other utility to push them off, but they've already got it halfway. He has to pop Hunter's Fury now and do some damage. Catches one and the kill with it. That could be it locked in there. All they need to do now is play the time. Both of them are low, but it's only halfway needed, and Morphin's already got one. Mo almost going down through the wall, but he comes out in time with the 3k and the round. Being on a side, and you cannot just spare any kind of moment. Oh, wait, 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 what is happening here? Well, Mystic's just completely wrecked them, but there's two more players tucked in with pistols up close. And this is where they could get into a little bit of trouble. Do you expect another? No, you don't. Morphin, he grabs a double. There's a weapon to be retrieved. Runs out of ammunition on the reload. Peek around the corner, the jump, but he still gets it done. He couldn't hit the headshot, the flank and play, and Bold gets away with murder. Ballista, they win the E. So was Recon Arrow because they pushed us four people on long. This was a crucial smoke for that plan. And you could see that they they even anticipated that something like that had happened, but when they killed the third player, you're like, okay, come on. There's not going to be four. <laughs> Batty G in the corner. He's flashed. He's blind as can be, spraying away. He got pretty close to getting the kill, all things considered. It's back to a 4v4. Fnatic have lost a bit of HP, but they've recovered a weapon, and Dome is using that to dome out Kareem, take him out of the round, and keep applying pressure to A. The problem they have now is that rotates have come through. They know that these players are going to be very close to taking... Uh, retaking the site rather 
whenever they push forward. So they delay. They make Ballista second guess what's going on here. Have they rotated to C? Are they going through garage? Is this going to be a B hit? Have they got a flanker? There's so many things that are going through their heads right now. They've spotted a player again on long, but that's not much information to play off. Now with that dash, though, I believe they've seen more. The rotate should be underway. The recon arrow and the plan gives away exactly where this play is coming down. But Fnatic have bought themselves that little bit of space. Now it's time to capitalize on it. Domo wants to do so with a flash and he gets himself one, but not good enough on the second. Mo with a kill, but one HP backs off. Shock Dart ready to be deployed. The peak on the back of it. He's out in the open here though. He could have been in trouble. Out goes the Seeker confirming his position. One HP. But his opponent isn't too healthy either and has to stick that spike. In comes the final shock dart. Now knowing that he's out of utility, this tap will bait him into the open. But there's a recon dart and it's going to spot that it's all clear. Mo is under pressure, but he tries to delay as much time as he can. And one better than that. Ballista, the deaths are planned. Everyone will now rotate. And this is going to take a while. We have time here to set up for what is going to be happening. And I feel like Fnatic maybe even should have been a little bit more aggressive to take to take control of that retake. But they're going, they are playing really defensive right now. Again, two players under heaven. 30 seconds left on that clock, I feel like. They've got the tripwire as well behind to watch for a flanker, but the players just jumped over it, and that's a big flaw. And now a free kill for Morphan on that flank. A little bit of problem as they drop out of heaven, and Batty G's in for a double. Man advantages keep on swinging their way. Ultimate pop, Batty G round the side, easily takes one, but his ultimate's going to fade away in a moment. He wants to get the information first, but he can't. Down goes the hot hands to make sure he doesn't get pushed, although that player couldn't have made it there in time. And time is gone. That's the problem with playing such a retake. He's gone. He's dead. Not a chance in that. That one and really the the issue there that's the smoke that i was pointing out before they do the same there's a huge push on a counter that recon arrow those flashes i mean they're blinding absolutely everybody the pistols coming through a cloud burst never really going to stand a great chance and another flash just confirms the round check cleaning up all three blind players on long and we have seen also fanatic change the position on the recon arrow because of that smoke mm -hmm. Small stuff. Small stuff that gives a lot of impressions of how the teams play. Oh, beautiful shot on Batty by Mo. Gorgeous stuff right in the air. The one tap. Usually you do that to a jet, not a phoenix. Doma right through into spawn. Clears it out. There's nobody here. He doesn't take damage as well, so he keeps his 50 armor. It's a nice little trade-off for the information that he got. They're worried about the flank this time, conscious of what happened to them last time around. QXV spots the head, but with an op, it's hard to hit with any weapon, really. Down goes the cloud burst, but he's been spotted. Now he's in trouble. Around he comes with a ghost, but a player behind him already through the smoke. Buys time, actually waits for a second flank. Anchor. This is really smart. Those guys being tagged up, and here's the push. There's the flash, and there's the kill. Four versus zero now. As six to six we go. I did get any information. Two players retreating now and retaking C, but it's already over. That two players lost XQV with a double kill. That's massive. The double taps that he got, and he was still caught in his dash as he went through. The value of Sky now used to heal him back up, and you can get that extra 5 HP as well. Go for it. So 100 HP now to play with Kareem on the default plant spot. Gets shock darted down to 1 HP. Again, Sky going to have to pop those heals, and it won't do a whole lot for them, but it doesn't matter. It's a 4v1, and QXV, the, the A site was the, the pivotal part of the map control. And so it makes sense then that they would attack A a lot on the attacking side Planted. but they've made the wise decision to go to sea found it completely open and a free spike plan yeah i really love the position of the spike by by the way because it opens up the spike for a c hold but at the same time you can only be in one position when you want to defuse the spike you're either in the corner or on the left side of the spike and that's it so it's so easy to spam through the smokes and it creates extra range to fight those classics on as well if they are up close to the spike which i mean they will take <laughs> if yeah, they barely sure. do a thing of that range you know, those double tap headshots well fanatic on this retake i feel like they're more trying to make it costly right harass their opponents yep. as much as possible that's not going to happen you know they're running away ballista no they at this point anyway. fanatic want to die yeah they want to throw themselves on that spike so that they get the money in the next round again a feature i'm really not a fan of i hope it changes in the future that yeah, I think especially if you have a ghost in play, I didn't actually get a spot on exactly what all four players had when they when they died or when the round was over. But if you had somebody who just had a ghost, sometimes it's worth just letting them try to take that fight and deny them the, uh, or rather pick up 
and ult orb. At this point, Fnatic, they're trying to retake before the spike's even gone down. There's lots of players ready to take those engagements, but Mo swings in from the C side. Manages to grab himself a double. The backside now secured. They've got a foothold to mount this re-aggression, but they don't know about Morphin coming behind. There's a paranoia. Massive stuff. Easy kill. Weapon to be upgraded here as well. Gets the Vandal in his hand, but it's not even necessary. Now they're losing that mental game as well. Push from Fnatic on A long. Oh, that's going to be successful. Domo with the double kill again. This is a, it's a tough start. It, there's still a player in the spawn that I don't think you can really expect in any way. Bold has managed to pick up Boaster, and really it comes down to Kareem for me on that Killjoy. Oh, I think he might have been spotted there. They could have seen his leg, and it looks like, yep, they've marked it. They know exactly where he is. Kareem's in trouble because he thinks he's still undetected, that he's got the jump on them. He's waiting for them to make a move, but if they do, it'll be a move to destroy him, and now spotted out Morphin as well. All the information to play with for Fnatic. They've Morphin's managed to pick up Mystic in a second as well. Catching them off guard. Another 1v1 that almost goes his way with Kareem so low. It shouldn't be a problem, but it very nearly was. Doma got lit down heavily. Had to clear the B site. Dash in. Confirms QXV will be nice and close. He sees one. There's a free kill. Morphin having ulted into spawn. They weren't ready for it. And the trade there immediately onto Morphin as QXV continued the aggression. A problem now afoot. Fnatic have got to get back into this round. They can't allow Ballista to just dominate them like this, but in a 2 v3 with no information it's going to be tough mystic checks his back but not fully leaving that corner clear where there is a player tucked in this could be a huge issue now as they remount this retake and i think sky's position alone should win them this round we'll see how that one plays out and transpires i think he just spotted the omen moving into position but he's coming back to check it mystic catches the kill now the nano swarm in play damage done 20 hp left on mystic it's a one versus two shock tart landed in on the spike but it's there's no time they're gone it's done I think he actually had it i think he actually had it by like 10 milliseconds or something like that but it was very close it was a decision do you do you stick it being shot in the in the back so that was a crucial piece oh. of that information but now mo gets the first blood with the hunter's fury but it's being Equalized by Batty. This guy, nuts on the Phoenix on Haven here. He's so confident, man. He just keeps that double key. Uh W key and that's so important if you're playing a Phoenix you have to be able to open space for your team and not sit in the back lines and bait them like all my matchmaking Phoenixes do as we look in towards this retake Fnatic as you said were equalized on and they've got weaker weapons so those ranged fights going straight down C long for example for Doma not going to be ideal because you just get wrecked by an op like that torn apart torn asunder and almost he most likely wins the entire round and the entire match this this is such a like just say mentally straining position to be in Bold has to forget about that. Get in, you know, attack. Easy plant, I guess. Is it? The, oh, the spike is very far away. Sack with the kill on XQV. Just threw the smoke, if I'm mistaken, because of the tripwire. Yep. Uh, the, the recon arrow as well that was up above, they didn't shoot it in time, so it's easy through that smoke to catch one. Batty G, though, returns it nice and quick. He's nowhere near his ultimate, but Phoenix can still be scary when they're playing that confident game, and that's exactly what he did just there, running into spawn and picking off ahead. The flash through confirms nobody has already pushed. Here comes a molly. It's burning Batty G. He's got to move further away, down to 50 HP, and looking for kills, getting them, as nobody checks the corner. That's a big, big mistake, and it'll cost Teammates come on, barreling through the teleporter. Mo stuck on his own on site, gets overwhelmed after just one kill. The teleporter players yet to leave and clear Doma's back. They've got to keep an eye on that periodically. But look at what's happening here. Ballista take the teleporter awesome. over towards the A site. They realize, okay, we've seized control of B, but we don't have hookah, and they've got the teleporter. They can split us as soon as we push. Instead, they rotate <gasps> towards the Viper. That didn't spot him because of the wall. He's actually safe right now and pushes right through Mystic. My God, that was a brave play and not one that pays dividends. With Boaster finding a kill in the back, they probably want to... Whoops, never mind. I was going to say group up around Sky for heals, but that's out the window. Jack's just been taken down straight away and both players now very very low i mean with a frenzy on range and four hp that's uh and 30 respectively that's probably the worst situation you could wish for and at this point ballista should be just locking this one down they've got a lot of time left to play with and doma is just distracting in heaven trying to take their crosshairs away from the teammate that was repositioning but they're staring straight at him and oh there's the first kill at least he could try to buy some time he knows where that player is now going for the half 
halfway to Fuse, but he could be wallbagged. He could be taken down. Oh, my God! Doma out on the bolt! Goes for the defuse. It's easily done, and that is insane! This is a little bit chaotic. Going straight into the nades here. They rush the back of the site, trying to overwhelm them, but Doma, he's ready to defend his teammate with the flash out. Taking a third, actually, afterwards and leaving Morphin all by himself. A nade coming right on top of his head. Literally goes over him a little bit, but those tags, the wall bangs from Spectres, enough to take him down in the end. 3-0 to zero we go, and another expected round to go the way of all three players. Look, those Seekers go different directions, and Doma out with the Showstopper, catches the first kill. That abandons any chance of them going through the Teleporter. They've got to commit now, and the Blast Pack play in the back. Bold peeking with him. The synergy of Ballista was something we commented on the other day. I mean, the Balls of Mystic may be our next point to be made. That's the second smoke I've seen him run through to try and take a 1vx fight. I like Baddy G spraying back. This is to try and distract them and get them to pull their crosshair towards him so the spike can still go down. It didn't ultimately serve any purpose, but the, again, the attempt was there, and I like it. Oh, QXV dodges it nicely, but taken down by Doma. Boaster with another, puts the advantage strongly into Fnatic's favor, and at this point, you're in a pretty tough situation for Ballista. They've got to try and recover this one. Bold completely locked out by the smoke as his teammate picks up one before falling. A quick flash and a quick kill afterwards, but now spotted by that recon. There was no way he could peek into that smoke and stop the defuse. The round is over, and Bolt just wants to carry the weapon forward, but move this wall. It goes down, it makes them shoot it, and now they're going to rush forward with the Phoenix ult and take a free kill. Batty G can continue to fight, but he gets destroyed and falls on back. A 5v3. Showstopper available, but not necessary. At least on the attacking side. If you're the defenders, you might want to pop it until all three you get killed by Kareem. <gasps> oh, he's evaded it and gotten past the wall. This is massive now for QXV. He's right up in their face and they have no idea how he got here. One kill, but that's all he's good for. Put back into a three versus two, in fact, as Fnatic take another advantage. Flash pops, but Batty G still good for the kill. Wall now broken. There's a way back in for Fnatic. Viper's only on her way now, taking a little bit of time to get back over towards this B site. It's going to take a uh, pretty heavy toll, really, on the, the clock Stop remaining because they've got no info at this point on where these players have gone to. That's where the recon dart comes in, and it's going to spot one at least. The wall bangs put him down very low, but time's still against them as they try to get those crucial shots on. Eventually, Bold is dropped. The information still a vacuum on the final player, and it's given away with a headshot. Batty G catches Mystic in the open and knows he's not defusing. He doesn't need to rush him down or play the time because it's already done and dusted and Batty G will fall to the spike. This might be impactful. That flash gets info, gets that kill. He knows about the second player. Great angle, but Kareem goes on top and he has the ult available. They know what's going to happen. And the ult is going to go through the heal as well as Kareem goes back up to full HP with Boaster. He's dealt with them, that ult landing perfectly and eliminating them. Another kill for Boaster as a third in the round pretty much seals the fate for those pushes with the stake by every single round but now mo gets a kill another stake by push and they're just getting punished and punished over and over again they just give no respect whatsoever okay morphin gets one but committing an ultimate in a 2v5 not exactly ideal there's a gap in the wall and they have no idea about that molly down as well and that's literally four of those players died actually no all five died sight as bold is just trying to sneak up the back lines gets one really nicely done around that smoke but nothing else to be converted as they now look to push the b side the trouble is afoot because those seekers have already spotted at least three players b and so you already have Fnatic, majority of the force, actually all of them now on their way towards the B site. They're going to delay as long as they can. That flash was so good by Batty G. QXV in with the trade and a man advantage now to play with for Ballista. It doesn't last too long. The final two players take the teleporter and they look to plant on A. Yeah, and they have a res available. Look at that, Kareem. If he gets the plant, he has one body on the side that he can res. But the thing is, they know both players were on B. They know the rotation will be coming in. Will they split? Will they come from the same side? If I would have been in their shoes, I would say, yes, they're going to come from the same side to go for the trades. But one of the players has an op, so he's most likely not going to push unless he exchanged the weapon. Mo taking control of A short, has the recon bolt available now. We'll probably use it for showers, sorry, for lamps to get that info, unless he will use it on site. We'll see how that turns out. 
Yeah, it's going to be a tough one to get back into. Ballista tucked inside of Lamps, looking to take this fight on Mo as he's just got too many angles to clear on his way out. Boaster with an operator. Not ideal for the 1v2 fight that's in front of him, especially as they're moving together, especially as they pop that ultimate and Morphin just cleans house. On, on, on a guy that is just waiting to pull out his weapon for one second. But in the meantime, Fnatic just goes through the third time, I feel like. Now this is this is tough. You know, Ballista, they just crunch them completely. A play that we literally saw from Fnatic twice in the previous game. Because of that, we see now XQV playing with Spectre in, instead of a full buy, maybe. Oh, he's getting sold out by the utility. He still gets one kill. Oh, the molly here as they cross. Baddies just out of the round, pretty much out of the push, at least. Uh, whoops, and into the fire. All right, cool. That was a great wall. So, I don't know what's just happened there, but uh, it's a 3v4. Bit of misplay on the mechanics there. Batty G wants to come on through, hasn't got his ultimate, and hasn't got his hot hands anymore as he's out of this one. Doma deleting him around the edge of that molly. With that black, that's going to be a free kill for him. Almost certainly off screen. He's picking up two. Mystic absolutely clutching out this one. Jack comes from spawn and leaves this round pretty much out of the hands of Ballista until Kareem Morphin. They're picking up every single kill. Mystic's only got the classic and 34 health. Got to rely on the right click and it lands, but not for the full 150. Doma with it all to do. Still has both of his blast packs, but it's unlikely to come into play. Knows where both of these players were, but the information slowly slipping away. Steps down, drop. He knows exactly where this Brimstone is. One kill, and he knows Brim is there as well. Getting up close, Blast Pack up on top, and around, around we go. Doma takes the kill in the end. Nine to s of that ulti on the, the map, but maybe it was just a spectator thing. Oh, yeah, we, we could see it when it activated, but QXV in with one from the back. They're going to take over control of Hookah, but the rotates are underway, and look who they've left behind lurking here. Doma easily catches off Kareem as the A site is overrun. The plant will come through. I don't think there's any utility to deny that at this point. And now Man Advantage plus Viper Ultimate. This is going to be tough to take control of as Ballista. Oh. And I was certain oh, the drop Ultimate for Sky, but it was already used before, and now just Fnatic just runs... Runs away with it. Wait a moment. Oh, there's a chance, especially inside this Viper ultimate. He's decaying all the way down on his HP, but he's sticking it. And that might not have been expected, but eventually they get around there. They were being cautious in case he... F I don't know. It's a little bit weird, but Buddy just goes... <laughs> what is happening? A bit of a wild start to this. And even taking that fight afterwards versus the weaker weapons. I mean, overcommitment is, is the word that rings through in my head. We end up now in a 2v5 in a tough spot again. Ballista, they're pulling this back slowly. They have to convert this one. They should. They've got res. They've got Phoenix ult and Showstopper. Everything really going their way. I'd be surprised if they let this one go. Mystic up close. It's the first one to take contact and successfully finds lamp control. Now a little bit more to get as a flash comes out, but it hasn't spotted exactly where Boaster is. It doesn't matter. They know where Mystic is. They know his last known location, and they've spotted him yet again. A quick fight goes his way. The Diffuse is only being tapped. It hasn't been stuck just yet, but eventually they're going to go for it. Mystic couldn't quite manage. He spotted Doma out at this point as well. It's a bit awkward if he gets taken down by that. You can see Sage just waiting for this fight to come through as Doma... Doesn't overstep his mark, Kareem. Oh, not dealt with. Batty G there to save the day. And Ballista just keep on giving in this one. Down goes Mo as Mystic is again in a 1v5. Hey, he gets two. He's already in for three with the snake fight. Old Pop, there's a player behind him, but it might buy him a little bit of time. He's actually spotted him out because of it. And another kill from snake bites. This is insane, but unfortunately, the ace doesn't come through for Mystic. That was a showstopper. They have to run it back. And we're gonna see that being used in tandem. Oh, it, never mind. Body is pushing elbow, gets a double kill while in the ultimate. That's nuts. A really good stuff by Batty. They pick up the flanker at least, allowing the setup of the post plant utility that we saw be so pivotal in just the previous round. Combined with the Hunter's Fury, that's huge. But they have the health. Yeah, they got it halfway. It didn't land quite in time because of the delay of taking the fight behind. This is going to cause a bit of an issue now. Ballista can just stick it inside that and get it all the way. But no! A second away! Kareem gets dealt with now. Down to the even clutch. Mystic with a third kill. Shock dart through. Damage done. And they've won the round at this point. Mystic, all four kills under his belt. An absolutely huge round from the Viper. And was yellow.
But I think, again, that comes down to... And I, I thought he'd read into something I didn't know about because if you have the Poison Orb and the Snake Bite, you cannot defuse. You can't yeah, do it. I agree. Um, but, but he went for it, and I guess he thought he could get there defying the laws of Viper, and I think we've seen that a few times. While we're chatting, though, we've got a double kill coming in from a showstopper. QXV with three. Already recovering this round for Ballista on what looked like it was going to be lost. They got pressured. They got split. Bathroom was under heavy, heavy pressure. And out he comes with a showstopper and completely changes the tide of the round. Abilities getting kills, but now they need to do it with weapons because they're all out of big impact ultimates. They've got a res, but need to get into position to revive one of those players. And this is where Fnatic would be wise to stick towards an A hit. I mean, if they had the spike, Last maybe they teleport, standing. but especially when they don't. QXV in with a fourth from behind, and although Mo has got one, he has no info on the second player. Believes him to be heaven, but he's already wrapped all the way around and just an inch away from getting that kill there we go More themselves and uh, to, to maybe even give it two 1v1s but hey they won the round and now this is a very quick approach from fnatic what's happening oh they're rushing in they're feeling full confident i love the setup of the snake fight and the nade so if somebody is playing up on top in a, a position that is fairly common they get double damaged and uh, put vulnerable as we say and then they get wrecked by the nade on double damage with this though we're in a five versus three after those opening duels fight for ultimate pop mystic up behind and catching every Everything, closing that out. Lamp control, they get the spike plan unless it's gonna be delayed by the shock touch. No, no, it's not gonna happen. The spike goes down. Ballista with the plant 5v5 retake from Fnatic. Well, if he hadn't healed up there, he'd be dead. Got shot through the smoke down to 39 HP when he was already about that. And no, oh, another nade coming through. A little bit of little bit of damage behind QXV, but he stays alive. There's the blast pack, but not in time. Doma picks up the kill and keeps on going. Kareem, the next line of defense, but down he goes as well. Batty G, he's been the big boy for this team in the past. I don't know how that didn't blind him. He's going to go out wide, drop a molly on the spike, and Morphin picks up one from behind. They're trying their best to pull this back, and Batty G does it! A 4K from this guy! in front of him <laughs> he had to use the hot hands without the hot hands i think he, he is losing 100 percent of the time but because of the hot hands he pushed out his opponents he could have played time a little bit and then he gets uh the double kills after the fuel rounds out insane and he gets the but the first blood on he defense opened it up completely again that lamps or uh, that bath push that's worked so many times in the previous round his hot hands further extended the molotov that brimstone had put down and brimstone about to further extend the advantage with perfect timing on the push through he catches mystic in the back and mo has to ace this round it's 